solution consultants and data scientists to take you through some uh, live examples of, of um, using our runtime R engine, our geolocation analytics, our customer analytics with event processing, and some of our APIs for writing. The example given will be writing data back to the database from a spot fire. So those are the topics. Uh, to, to kick it off, uh, I'm going to just go through the data science process. But firstly, you know, what is a data scientist? Well, this is uh, somebody who knows the, the business. This is a combination of three different personas. Firstly, if you think about an engineer and uh, a marketeer, someone who knows the business problem but doesn't know how to prepare data or build models. And then you think about a, a statistician who knows how to develop models but doesn't know uh, much about IT or, or, or business systems. And then you know uh, the, the IT developer knows about databases and, and, and applications, but isn't familiar with uh, data meaning or, or the analytical workflow uh, process. So it's the combination of those three legs of the stool that creates data science. And sometimes in organizations, you don't get all of those three things in one person, and you create uh, teams of people that can work together to uh, perform the data science process. But that's, uh, that's the, co the combination of skills that are involved in data science. And as we go through the process today, you'll see that we firstly, firstly start by identifying high-value business problems to work on. Uh, then we go through methods for accessing and preparing data from different sources, then get into exploratory analysis, visualization, shaping the data, mapping, uh, filtering, uh, and, and identify features that inform the, the business problem, uh, and then build those into dashboards and provide those to um, ourselves, but also to uh, our business colleagues uh, to click around and understand uh, their data in a self-service manner. We're going to take a step further today, though, and, and use those features and, and data to build out the models uh, and then deploy those models inside of, uh, inside of our dashboarding environment. Uh, and then we're at the, towards the end, we're going to run some of those models with uh, live data uh, to do notifications and interventions uh, uh, based on data in motion. And uh, we'll be going through different parts of this workflow process uh, during the, the call today. Uh, and we're also going to try and wrap up with a, an example of, of our APIs. Uh, 